This is the story of connection, the connection between a mother and daughter, and moments of connection through dance. See the moment Shobana hears about when her rhythm and confidence moved her from the back of the group to center stage. When the audiologists came out of the sound booth after your hearing test and told me you are profoundly deaf, I was in a shock and emotions were bursting out. Somehow at the same moment, I remembered my neighbor who used to live in India and she was profoundly deaf and completely dependent on her family for communication. I imagined your life will turn into like that and that was just not acceptable for me. After further testing, we came to know you are eligible for cochlear implant, which we heard for the first time. This gave us a hope you will be able to hear and talk like any other child. I have seen you growing up and turning into a wonderful young lady. During this journey, the moment which touches me the most is your Bollywood solo dance. Pursued your passion without hearing coming into your way. You were determined and listened to every beat of the song to be in rhythm. This is indeed amazing. I have watched you coming from back of dance group on the stage to front center and then graduated to perform a solo dance. I still remember the moment with tears in my eyes. Now you dance so gracefully and also have choreographed so many. A very proud moment. And that moment I thought you are going to be fun and will be full of life. We have fought for you and crossed so many hurdles that you get the same opportunity like any other child. We knew if we give you a bit of support and guidance, you will shine with your own intelligence and hard work. And that's what you did. You finished your undergrad. You are an excellent dancer, learned to swim, skate, bike, and many other activities like your favorite, makeup. Also, as growing up, I have noticed you have started advocating for yourself and for other children with hearing impairments. We have gone through this hearing journey together, and I must say, you have never let hearing define you. This fall, you are moving out of the house to pursue your master's degree to become a teacher. I'm sure there'll be a lot of challenges, but at the same time, I'm confident you'll be able to handle it and come out of it gracefully to become an independent and strong young lady. We are so proud of you. And one wish I have for you is that you should be successful in your life, not with a big house or a huge bag balance or fancy cars, but to become a role model for the kids who are hearing impaired. Give them guidance, educate them about hearing options, encourage them. Advocate for them and let them know sky is the limit if you are determined and focused to get something. We are so blessed to have you in our life. And I'm sure you will shine in your future whatever you aim to achieve it. It's really good to experience this and, you know, sharing that experience to other people. I find that very important because that throughout my whole childhood, I felt really left out and lonely. Um, but now, like, I realized the importance of advocating uh, for my needs and then that really brought people to see what, what I was experiencing and what I'm feeling and that made me feel a lot better. Since as a child, I've always listened to Bollywood music and I've enjoyed the beats of it. Um, but ever since I got into dance and learning dance, for me, like, I shouldn't have found a passion. I'm like, this is right for me and I want to pursue it. Her practice, her dedication, her passion, the way she used to practice, you know, so many times did a lot of practice and hard work and then it just uh, it's came out amazingly that she dances now and then choreographs so many too so and yeah. she's also a good dancer herself too oh. so. <laughs> I want to teach I want to 
work with children. That's the biggest passion of, of my life. Ever since I was a kid myself, I love kids. <laughs> um, so I just want to, because I'm very passionate about their curiosity and their development in their learning and physical development. I feel like, I think no matter how many people there is in an audience, as long as you love dancing or any type of activity that you're passionate about, I feel like just go for it. It doesn't matter of the external factors. For all the hurdles that she has faced, and then she has come out of it so nicely and then in a positive way. So it's really, really great that she is uh, becoming a very young and confident girl. Yeah, so proud of her, yes. <laughs>